Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're talking about what to do if you're not prepared to take the calculus class you're about to take. I just did a video, you can check it out right here, about the top reasons I think students pass calculus and spoiler alert, spoiler, the top reason was you're prepared for the class. What does that mean? Well, that really means you have the prerequisite knowledge going in and you're strong and up to date with that prerequisite knowledge, meaning you have good trig and algebra skills, you know, specifically stuff with dealing with trig functions and trig identities and graphs and maybe like logarithm stuff. These are the top things that I think most of the time trip people up. So what if you're not strong in that prerequisite knowledge and you're scheduled to take this calculus class and you know, maybe you'd really like to finish it even though you're not necessarily going in prepared. What should you do? Well, I think the number one thing to do, and it's not something that students like to do all the time, and that would be to speak with your teacher, speak with your professor or instructor, and kind of gauge the situation. You know, be honest with them. I'd be open and say, hey, you know, I'm signed up for your class, obviously. I'd really like to do my best. I'd like to get through it, but I really don't feel like I'm prepared. You know, could you tell me a little bit about the class? Could you tell me about the structure? Could you tell me in this specific class, how important is that prerequisite knowledge? Are there a few bullet points that maybe if I just brush up on those, then I'd be okay? You know, maybe you only need to look at a few things, refresh yourself, or maybe just learn a few new things, and that's all you need. Every class is different. Every professor, every teacher is different. And just by talking to them, you know, you can get well, at least more information, right? More information can't hurt you. So maybe just talking with the professor and letting them know that you're here, you exist, and you know, you want to do your best, that already is a good thing. You know, getting on the ball right away at the beginning of the semester, that shows a lot. That shows dedication to your professor. And you know, maybe depending on the type of person they are, they might be more lenient to you, you know, if they know that you're in your situation and you're trying your best, you know, they might be more lenient, they might be pushing you in the right direction, they might give you any kind of tips to get through their class, you just don't know. Now, obviously, um, some professors are just going to brush you off, you know, it really depends on them. Some might say, you know, if you don't have the prerequisite knowledge, you should drop my class and uh, go take the class to get the prerequisite knowledge. But if that was the case, then, well, you probably are glad you know that now because you probably don't want to be in a calculus class with a harsh professor not knowing what you need to know, right? So at the bare minimum, even if it's bad news, you want to know the bad news, right? So you want to talk to your professor early, be open and honest with them, tell them where you're at, ask them whatever advice and go from there. Not to mention, you're just going to get a feel for who they are and how they run their class. Next, I really think, as I look at my cheat sheet, you should know where tutoring is on your campus. Most of the time it's free, especially at colleges and universities. If you're a student, you should have access to some sort of free tutoring. And make sure you know how and where to sign up and then start going every single week, week one. The fact that you're already a little bit behind on what you need to know, that means you're gonna to have to spend even extra effort than what normal people in the class would spend. And for many students, and I've worked with you know, a lot of students, especially in calculus, it requires a substantial amount of effort for most people. You know, some people can breeze through calculus. That's fantastic, more power to you. It took a lot of work for me to get through calculus. And my bet is for the average student, it's going to take you a significant amount of work. And that's okay, just know that if you get in the tutoring center early, you know, you meet the tutors, you become a regular at the tutoring center, maybe once or twice a week, you know, just a few hours a week. But if you start hitting the ground running week one, maybe the tutor can help you catch up on that prerequisite knowledge you don't have. Or maybe it just helps keep you in line, helps you study, helps you not lose hope. Getting in the tutoring center early and often is probably the best single thing that you can do to better your chances of getting through the course. And the third thing, the third thing I would do if you're not quite ready 
for your calculus class is develop a can-do mindset. I have seen students who were definitely not ready for calculus, but you know, they talk with the professor or hopefully, or maybe they talk extensively with tutors and they go to tutoring weekly and they work and they get through it because thousands and thousands and thousands of students get through calculus every single year, ready or not, basically by working really hard. Knowing that it's going to be a hard work, but just accepting that and just doing as many practice problems as you need, you know, you can do it. Even if you don't exactly know every single thing that you're supposed to know going in, if you just keep tackling problems, keep going to tutoring, keep doing the problems over and over and over again, you have to be able to do it. It's, it's a guaranteed success formula that if you just keep doing problems over and over and over again, it's going to be redundant and repetitive and boring, but it works. I mean, that's how I got through calculus. I just kept doing problems until I could do it. And, and that's, again, it's a boring formula, but it definitely works. So those are the top things I think you should do if you're not quite ready to tackle your calculus semester this time around, but I wish you the absolute best of luck.